Let's go live to Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. Prime Minister, thanks for your time as always. One of your predecessors, morning, a, a much-loved figure in, uh, in your party and beyond that, um, the late, great Bob Hawke. He said in 2016 nuclear power would be a win for the environment and an essential part of attacking dangerous global warming. Why not at least consider it? Let's be clear here, Bob Hawke can't speak for himself, so I think uh, it's pretty tacky that the Coalition uh, attempting to use uh, a, a quote out of context as well of, uh, of my, my dear late friend, uh, Bob Hawke. Uh, what we're dealing with here in 2024 is a Coalition so-called plan that hasn't lasted a day. Uh, they've said there are seven sites but they haven't said whether they're going to be compulsorily required. They say there'll be a community consultation process. Uh, one of the shadow ministers has said that that'll have the right of veto, so will they go and look for other spots? Uh, others have said there'll be compulsory acquisition. Uh, Peter Dutton's now saying, uh, after saying just that yesterday, uh, now saying, oh, well, well, we'll convince them that they're on board, even though six of the seven owners of those sites have rejected this proposal. Every state and territory uh, where it's proposed has rejected the proposals. Even the Queensland LNP are saying they don't want a bar of this. They've made an announcement without any substance. Uh, no costings, yeah. no real timelines, no idea of what form the reactor will take. Uh, how big they will be, what the engagement with the community is. Uh, this is uh, farcical, frankly, uh, Kieran. Uh, this is economic catastrophe. When we look at the costs of nuclear, what we know is that it's the most expensive form of new energy. So my government is providing $300 off energy bills in two weeks. The Dutton opposition are saying in two decades will give you the most expensive form of energy that there is, new energy, and, what's more, will have government ownership and send all the bills to the taxpayers because there is no way that not a single private bank or financier in this country would go anywhere near this uh, because it's such a risky economic proposition. You say that it's economic catastrophe, but let's let's look at Europe. There are more than 100 nuclear plants. France has dozens. It provides a clear majority of that country's power supply. Why, why are you so adamant it can't be part of our mix? Listen to the experts, Kieran. The International Energy Agency, that is very much uh, pro-nuclear energy, says that Australia... Uh, is not an appropriate venue because of the comparative advantages that we have. Kieran, if you go outside in, in Australia, you can fry an egg on a footpath during the summer. We have the best solar resources in the world. We have such a comparative advantage if we seize the opportunities which are there. Uh, the CSIRO say that compared with uh, renewable energy with firming, it's up to eight times more expensive. It is decades away. Not only will this cost more, it will make energy supply more insecure because there's no answer either of what happens between now and two decades' time for how energy supply is secured. They spent almost a decade in office saying that we needed uh, to extend the life of coal-fired power they had proponents, like in Collinsville, where they paid the people who wanted to build a coal-fired power plant money to do the study and to do the preparatory work, and it ended up in zero, just as they said uh, that Liddell should stay open. Indeed, no new coal-fired power sure. plants were built on their watch, and 14 of them announced their closure. Now they've moved away from coal, but they've found another destination of denial and that destination of denial is nuclear in the meantime when you... uh, what will happen is that there'll be issues of more energy insecurity because uh, we know that it is uh, disrupting 
the certainty that the business community have been crying out for. That's how you reduce uh, prices, by increasing supply, sure. offering the business community the certainty that they've been asking for, and that is what we have done.